Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 16 search engine optimization tips that are future proof. In other words, they help you build up your traffic and rank in search engines based off of quality, based off of white hat instead of black hat strategies or if you don't know, white hat is more um, quality driven it's more helping the user black hat is shortcuts um, doing uh, shady things sketchy things that you're not supposed to do uh, breaking search engine rules to try to get to the top and get more traffic you don't want to do stuff like that these are future proof because they will keep the integrity of your site and they are all based on quality and helping users so the first search engine optimization tip is to go after low competition long tail keywords now this is something you might have, might have heard before but it's something I have to cover because I would be not doing you a favor if I didn't so you have to not only do this for SEO but you want to do this for getting more sales for your business as well so if you want to rank for like a one or two word phrase like say real estate you're gonna have millions and millions and millions of websites to compete with plus you don't even know what the people want that are searching for real estate they might be looking for houses to buy they might be trying to become a real estate agent they might be trying to hire a real estate agent you have no idea but if you go after something that's four or five words long and gets more in depth like location like um, what the intent of the user is for instance Queen and Seattle real estate so in other words these people were looking for houses in a certain area but or how to become a real estate agent in Texas or something like that that's so you can you know what they want to do by seeing that and it has so much less competition that's easy for you to rank in the top results if you rank for the top results for something that doesn't get a lot of traffic it's still better than being on page five for something that gets a lot of traffic because no one ever goes past page one very few people go past page one of search results so you're better off being the big fish in a small pond in SEO than a small fish in a big pond so that's what you want to focus on long tail keyword phrases I'm talking four words or more and make sure you know their intent by uh, going after keywords that display what they are actually wanting to do and that will help you get more qualified prospects and more sales number two you want to have keywords at the first of the title this helps people um, find articles easier when they search a phrase like link building tips for instance you'll notice the top results have link building or link building tips within the first two or three words they start putting in the phrase so 20 SEO link building tips okay so it's the first three link building strategy link building is in the first two words advanced link building tips it's within the first two words link building is within the first word so you'll notice that link the phrase many times will be at the very first of the title but the title might be nine or ten words so put your phrase at the very first of the title and you'll give yourself just a little bit of a boost in SEO number three optimize titles for high click-through rates so if you optimize the title you have a great article uh, you have a great sales funnel all this stuff you still won't do very well if people don't click on your article in the results the way you get people to click on your article and results is you make it compelling you make it stand out from the rest so one way to do that is to study how news writers compose their titles so you can go to yahoo.com this is one of the best ways to just read over articles that are popular that are really trending right now and you'll get an idea of what kind of uh, strategies they use to get people to click their articles they use controversy they use lists like 15 characters 
um, starting with a number that's another great way or they'll do a how-to or they'll say something about news you know something news related that you didn't know about um, there's a lot of different tactics you can use to get people to click your title but if people aren't clicking it if it doesn't sound compelling it doesn't matter how well it's optimized because people won't click it and therefore your rankings won't be as good because Google will realize that your article must not be that interesting. Number four, write lengthy content. So it's been uh, studied a lot that um, content length actually has a pretty uh, good impact on rankings. You'll notice that you know SERP IQ did a test and they realized that the top three results had you know 2,300 plus words whereas the bottom ones had you know a few hundred less so page one you'll notice has typically over 2,000 words um, typically in the top 10 which the top 10 is all that matters because if you get on page two or lower like I mentioned uh, earlier you will not get anywhere no one will see your stuff so you have to be on page one so write more and don't just ramble on write more by using higher quality content that goes more in depth that go takes people um, more in depth on the subject you give out resources you put in um, examples you tell stories that relate to the content do what you have to do to help them understand the content and the point of it as best as possible and usually you will end up writing a lot more words so you'll notice just by looking at these charts that the top results have more words but not only does that help SEO it helps you get more traffic from social media you'll notice uh, BuzzSumo did a chart they did a study that realized that the ones the more words were in the article which usually means the more depth the article was the more shares on social media they got so you get multiple benefits from just going more in depth with your content Number five, have a site that loads very fast. So if your page doesn't load fast, people are not going to wait on it. If it loads over two or three seconds, a lot of times people would just click the back button and go to another result that loads faster. So first you have to get people to want to click your content. Of course, you have to do SEO to get your content in the front page in the first place. but after you do those two things, you've ranked it, you've got it to where um, it's compelling to click. People have to be able to click it and be on your page almost instantly because that's just what people expect these days. Websites are getting faster, page speed is a ranking signal. And if you want to go to moz.com, and look up the page speed article they did they will show you how to optimize your pages to actually get speeded up you can also try out um, tools.pingdom.com to test your page to see how fast it loads and they will give you some pointers on optimizing uh, what your site is lacking to help you speed up your website so just make sure you load fast because search engines know that users won't wait very long for load times and will hurt your search engine rankings and you won't have a very good um, return on investment in your marketing if people are not staying on your site so it hurts you in many ways having a slow site number six do mass social media promotion so not only do you, do you get more traffic from social media but it also helps you in terms of good um, good signals that you have a very popular site people are more likely to share an article if they see that thousands of other people have shared it they don't want to be the first to do it and feel like they're the only one that actually liked the article okay so you want to display how many shares you have when you have a lot of shares but to get a lot of shares from Twitter Facebook etc 
and if you don't have a lot of followers yet you can use a site like just retweet to promote your content by sharing other people's content accumulating points and then having people earn points by sharing your content so try just retweet it's completely free and it will help you get a boost in social media traffic and social media shares that will help you uh, make your content look better because it has more shares on your share buttons and it will help you get more traffic and promotion from your articles number seven you want to constantly publish new content you'll notice the biggest sites in the world publish dozens of articles per day um, or they have uh, users like Facebook and Twitter they're posting uh, social media posts thousands of times a day so constantly publish new content and to do that you want to check on um, sites like entrepreneur.com business insider Huffington Post you'll notice um, you can count how many uh, articles they published in the last day or so. Uh, I did this one time and I think it was around 45 new articles per day from someone like entrepreneur.com which is a massive amount. You would have to get a lot of extra writers to do this. Obviously you can't just do it by yourself but you don't have to do this unless you plan on being exactly like them. You can publish one article a day and get a massive amount of traffic um, that's what a lot of the better marketers do they focus on really high quality content and they publish once a day or once every other day instead of publishing you know dozens of very short brief articles like someone like entrepreneur does but you the main thing you want to do is publish multiple times per week it makes your site look fresh and you get ranked better because of it number eight get people to comment if you want to get people to comment, one of the best uh, bloggers to study is Neil Patel. One of his sites is quicksprout.com and he has a great article called How to Generate at Least 50 Comments on Your Next Blog Post. And there are multiple benefits to getting lots of comments. Not only does it tell Google, hey, um, people are commenting on my stuff, that means they read it, that means they have a uh, voice on the site that means they're interested enough to actually say something because most people won't go out of their way to say something about a piece of content unless they either really like it or really hate it so either way you would really have to read it to leave a comment so when you get these comments it, it looks good for search engines it helps your rankings but it also helps your rankings because it counts as content on the page remember how I said uh, lengthy content tends to rank better well these comments count as words on the same page you don't have to just rely on solely what you wrote personally on the blog post it actually accounts for comments as well so all these comments you see on a on a uh, post on quicksprout.com count as additional content allowing him to rank better because he has even more words in his articles than most people not only does he write a two or three thousand word post but then he might get another thousand words in just comments so it just adds to your SEO so try to get a lot of comments by asking questions um, responding to other comments makes people want to comment more and just writing the best possible um, content you can the highest quality you can and that will attract more comments as well number nine use lots of media on each post so you'll notice the article I just went over has a lot of images and a lot of you know it has a few infographics I think it had a video somewhere down there um, you'll notice that people like Neil Patel and um, Brian Dean they are some of the best at uh, blogging and ranking blog posts and they write very long content with lots of images so they use a lot of charts they use infographics they use videos to just help people understand the content as well as possible by being able to consume it in different forms 
Some people prefer images. People process images like a thousand times faster than words. So help people and you will get better SEO from helping them. Just understand the content by helping them with images and videos because people just process those types of things better. Of course, having lots of words helps and it helps your SEO as we've uh, pointed out, but including images to kind of break up the text and help people understand it by seeing the information in multiple forms really helps your SEO. Number 10, link to your related articles. So it helps Google understand um, what your stuff is about by linking to other things. So you want to um, link to your articles kind of like how they mention in this post on the KISS Metrics blog. They talk about the seven commandments of internal linking that will improve content marketing and SEO. So you need to create lots of content, but you need to link to your other articles that are related because it helps it helps search engines realize, okay, this is kind of like this article and this other article that we've already ranked. So this new article must be about this topic based on the words and based off of uh, other articles related to it. So it just helps them rank things better and it helps people stay on your website because they get to read multiple things along the same topic that they're interested in. Number 11, link to external resources. So you also want to link to other sites besides just your own. And you want to do that because um, linking to these other sites actually can help with the context of what you're writing about. So if you link to say, um, if you link to uh, a Wikipedia page about somebody who you mentioned in the article, that alone can make a huge difference and you'll notice somebody like Neil Patel does that a lot within their articles. Uh, he also does that on neilpatel.com. He links to um, other articles and Wikipedia pages and uh, places where he got statistics and all kinds of stuff. Uh, he links to you know where he got the statistic here on entrepreneur.com. You'll notice a lot of links within his post. He even links to a YouTube channel. So external links can really help with context and helping them understand what you're talking about. Number 12, use proper tags. So using tags is also very important because tags and categories are another way of helping search engines know what your content is related to and what subjects you cover within the content. So you need to give them multiple ways of figuring out what the content is specifically about. So if you have a category about marketing on your site and you wrote a post about SEO, you might have a tag that's more specific to search engine marketing or SEO while putting it in the marketing category. So categories are typically more broad and tags typically go more in depth. So you would group your SEO articles within the same SEO tag but they would also be part of a larger category that talks about marketing in general. So I would go over this post on WPBeginner.com about categories versus tags and that is the next one on the list is using proper categories. Use this post to kind of get an idea of when to use categories, how to use them, and when to use tags and how to use those just to help um, organize your content better and it will help you rank better. Number 14, make it easy to read. And to do that, there's a few different ways. You can use the readability score at readability-score.com, which uses the Fletch reading ability test, which is also covered in the Yoast SEO plugin. So you can get the Yoast SEO plugin. This is what I did. It has a little tool at the bottom of all your articles that tells you how readable it is, and the Fletch reading score has to do with how many syllables your average word has, things like that. So you want to be able to talk to a very broad audience of different education levels. You don't want to have a real scientific, huge, 10-syllable word average um, 
on your article because very few people will actually understand what you're talking about if you use too many big words and things like that that aren't part of the common language. So whatever you choose to do, you can uh, copy and paste the text or the URL at the readability score website or you can get the Yoast SEO plugin for free and it will tell you at the bottom of each WordPress post how good your readability is but that helps your SEO and your user um, and your user engagement as well number 15 get natural backlinks okay so backlinks are still a big part of ranking your content it's like an upvote from another source they're basically saying hey I endorse this content when they link to you now it needs to be natural because if you try to do uh, black hat strategies like using uh, software to get backlinks or commenting on blogs to get backlinks it's gonna hurt you a lot and it could get your site de-indexed in other words you wouldn't be able to rank at all ever again you would have to just completely start over if you want to keep blogging so go to backlinko.com and go to 17 untapped backlink sources if you want to see one of the most comprehensive backlinking resources on the internet and how to um, get as many backlinks as possible in a natural way. Number 16, last but not least, build up your domain authority. Your domain authority has to do with um, are you using the right tactics, are you a uh, a company that's focused on quality and actually helping people or are you just focused on um, spamming and doing things that you shouldn't be doing to try to get shortcuts to the top of search engine rankings so if you have a lot of bad backlinks if you um, have a lot of pages with very little content on them uh, things like that will hurt your domain authority but if you've been around a long time you publish a lot of high quality content you get a lot of engagement comments and you have a fast website and things like that it can build your domain authority so go to moz.com and what look up what is domain authority they will explain it very well this is a very good SEO company and um, they actually have a few tools you can use called the open site explorer or the moz bar so for instance the open site explorer you can put in the URL of your website and it will tell you your um, your domain authority and how good your backlinks are and things like that or you can get the moz bar download it to your browser and it will tell you that um, domain authority score for every website you're on including your own so either way moz kind of has a great way of helping you realize what your authority is and how you can improve it so if you got something from this video if you feel like it helped you with your seo strategies um, please like and subscribe so i can make more videos like this for you and help you rank better and get more traffic if you want to let me know about something i left out of the video um, that you think I should have included or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and if you want to contact me directly or get more in-depth blog posts on this type of stuff resources tools that you can use go to selfmadesuccess.com and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day